My mum has this expression, burning the candle at both ends, which means working yourself too hard. Pretty sure I've been burning the candle, like, on the sides as well, though, recently. The only reasonable way I've found of building a habit is like ticking off physically on a piece of paper on the dates when I've been to the gym. Today I've got to get a train to London at half past 12 which is in like two hours or so. I've got to do a piece of coursework first that's due today and then I'm going straight from London to Ipswich to go and fix the boat again. Slower start than I had hoped for. I'm now off to the studio to measure a room which I'm designing something for for that piece of coursework. There we go. Two hours to finish this piece of coursework before I have to be on a train going to London to do a site visit. So, um, I should probably stop talking to you. Drawing's done. Ugliest dimensioning in the world. Guess I've actually drawn my, uh, the rest of my breakfast now. We have to do everything with Ikea stuff, like Ikea units and whatnot. Last night I basically spent my degree time work on the Ikea design tool. Not great for my self-validation when I'm not feeling very motivated at the moment, but um, <laughs> it's kind of fun nonetheless. my original train by four minutes because I got the wrong time. Half an hour until the next one. Fortunately my drawing from home for my work this morning did not upload, therefore I spent the last half an hour at the station redrawing everything I did this morning and it's still not done. Uh, so I now have this one hour train journey to try and fix that and submit the whole course. Bit of a nightmare. YouTube isn't really a great medium for communicating the mundane of the everyday. That is to say, it's difficult to create videos that are both engaging and yet still honestly reflect what my life is actually like. 90% repetitive, slow and even boring work that seems just to go on and on. The quick transitions and upbeat music may be a shiny exterior, but they are the exterior of a much duller interior. Anyway, so I'm slowing things down a tad here in the hope of shedding a little more honest light on the multiple hours off schedule wasted in this cafe finishing that one job. And more importantly, of course, it has also given me the excuse to record this very pleasing resonant voiceover. Finally on my way to Bermondsey, that coursework took like three hours longer than expected. <sighs> Finally made it to Bermondsey. However, <laughs> it is now quarter to six and I've got to be leaving for somewhere else at quarter past six which gives me half an hour. 10 minutes to walk to the site, 10 minutes at the site, and 10 minutes back again. <laughs> Good thing is, having spent so many hours working on a site map, I know my way around like the back of my hand. It's now seven minutes past six. You know what, I think, I think I've got quite a lot of information there for 
a short 10-15 minutes at the site. Took a lot of photos and just because like I deliberately chose such a concentrated area. I think it's just got a lot of the colours in Bermondsey involved in one place, so it's quite interesting. Anyway, back to the... Uh, <laughs> mad walk back to the station now. Onwards to Greenwich and then onwards to Ipswich. Day's almost over. Although, it's, it's really not actually, I've still got quite a lot to do. <laughs> Classic. Made it to Ipswich at long last. Here I am on board Skylark. Skylark is our boat, the yacht um, that belongs to the Cambridge University Yacht Club who I do all my sailing with. So yeah, end of a long day. I've been from Cambridge to London to lots of different parts of London and, and now up to Ipswich. Exciting stuff though. <laughs> Tomorrow I've got to work on the engine. Tomorrow I've got to fix the engine and um, I'll have Wednesday to do all of the studio work that the tutors would have expected from me over the past week having been away over the weekend and been working on the coursework and busy yesterday and tomorrow I'm tired <laughs> good night mm -hmm.